wouldn't get it. I would like get this anger inside of me. Somebody said that's related to bipolar mania, <laughs> but I ain't got no bipolar mania. But it was like once you get a taste of it, you have to keep having it, having it. And then when you don't get it, that's when the problem comes in. When things don't go your way, that's when the problem comes in. When you can't call him and say, hey, let's meet here and there, and he tell you no, that's when the problem comes in right then and there. And so for me, that was that was an issue, and that's why I don't don't get my stuff out now, because <laughs> that was an issue for me. The sexual frustration was was torture. It was torture on my mind. So I don't want to have to go through that mess again. <laughs> that's why I said you gotta um choose and make wise decisions when it comes down to your mental health because these guys out here now. They're just chasing whatever they can get. They're going to get it. I had one guy who said, um, I thought he was uh, for sure until he said this. <laughs> yeah, y'all ever been through that? You thought you had a for sure one until they said something. And then that red flag jumped up. That red flag ain't for nothing, y'all. Believe me. But I had this one guy who, who had the nerve to sit there and say, um, I don't care what type of woman it is, um, as long as this stuff is good. And I was like, what? So you mean tell me that you will sleep with somebody who is burned out, burning down there, just, just you know, because somebody said they got some good stuff. See, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't want to be caught up in that mess. I knew then he wasn't no count. Not a bit of count. Um, I mean, I just, <laughs> it's just crazy. But that just goes to let you know that these guys are doing the same thing to the plus size women that they're doing to the um, skinny women, to um, the women that's out here that's single and dating. All of us are getting treated the same way. We're getting ghosted on. We're getting, um, where they baby us up and make us uh, feel like they're going to be worthy of our time. And then through months down the road, you realize that they're a what? Waste of time. And this is what season, by the way. <laughs> Waste of time season where you only get those guys who want to cuff. Who want to cuff and find somewhere to lay up because it's winter time. And, they, you know, people ain't having cookouts where they can hang out and stuff. So now you got to deal with that. And it's it's hard. It's hard because every woman that's single that wants a man really wants a man. They want a man. We don't want a boy. I don't want to raise you again. I want a man. But I don't want to raise you. I don't want to have to, you know, pretend like I'm somebody that I'm not. Look, I'm missing teeth. I am... Uh, I'm plus size. I don't always talk right. Some of my words come out funny. I don't always comb my hair every day. I mean, there's so many things that you got to learn about a person. Some days I wake up and I go right back to sleep. And I'm not I'm not a lazy person either, but it's just that you know, um that's just me. Some days if I'm here, if I don't have anything to do, I spend my time in the bed. Because I'll be tired. That's just me. In other days, I'm with my granddaughters. I'm out doing stuff. I'm doing radio work, music industry work. I'm putting out PR releases, all kind of stuff, you know. So um, when I get do get a chance to relax and unwind, that's what I'm doing. When I get a chance to relax and unwind, that's why I appreciate being single. Because Lord knows if you got a man... Anytime that you get to yourself, they want you to spend that doing something for them. <laughs> I've been there and done that. See, I told you I was in a relationship over 15 years, so I pretty much know all that part. So I'm not taking my singleness for granted at all. But brothers and sisters out there, look, don't sell yourself short. Shoot, if they don't like who you are or the size you are, shoot, kick their butts to the curb. It's too many people out here to be selling for dummies. That's what I call them, ignorant idiots. 
ignorant idiots. The I I the I I face. Hashtag I'ma hashtag that just to sure. I I ignorant idiots. <laughs> That's what they are. Ignorant idiots. To make a woman think they want them and then when it comes down to being in public and all that stuff, try to turn them away. Mm-mm. Where that ugly dog come from? That ugly dog. But anyway, I'm just on here venting because I ain't got nothing to do but sit here today and relax on this beautiful Sunday. And y'all know whenever you get to sitting by yourself, you get to thinking about all kind of stuff. And I, that's what was on my mind right there was how, um, these guys on these dating sites, cause I've been on the dating site for a while, but I haven't met anybody off in there yet. I haven't met anybody off in there yet because it seems like as soon as they open their, as soon as they start texting, they sound so stupid. <laughs> They sound so stupid, and I'm not stuck up or picky or anything. It's just that I know what I'm looking for, and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a man who's who's sending me a picture with his tongue hanging out or his thing hanging out. I don't care about that. That ain't nothing. I can get that anywhere. Show me something that somebody ain't never showed me before. You know, show me, show me growth or something. Show me that you really know something about paying bills and being a man anybody can give you flowers but that don't mean they love you in the way that you deserve to be loved shoot I had a man he always gave me flowers he always brought me some stuff in whenever he could but it didn't stop him from cheating so what kind of heart you got? That's what I'm talking about. Don't sit there and talk me to death all day about what you doing, what you doing, what you got on, and stuff like that. You don't even know what I got on. How you look? How tall are you? Do you got any full-size shots? Yeah, I got plenty, plenty of full-size shots. I got shots in bathing suits and all kind of shots, but ain't no need of me sending them. Why would I want to send off my body shots and... You're not even getting trying to get to know me. You want to see my body first, so that lets me know you you already going for size and stuff. I didn't talk myself sleepy. <laughs> I sure have. But I'm waiting on my granddaughter to come back through. She's supposed to help me finish with this um living room and stuff. But y'all, anyway, though, I'm just saying, if you fat, love your fat. And I'm tired of people saying that, you know... Fat is not necessarily a bad word. It's not a bad word. And it's not necessarily ugly. Um, it is according to how you use it. According to how you use it, it is. But for me, I'm just like, you know, this is who I am. I'm fat and fluffy and there goes another dog.